Welcome back to Higher Ideas Podcast. Canada. Oh, Canada. Our home and native land. There's something I want to address in keeping an eye on what's been going on in the U.S. over the past few years, uh, specifically the negative, uh, the scary stuff that's been happening, increase of police brutality, the crackdown on Occupy, an increase in spying, an attack on all constitutional rights, a shredding of the Constitution, escalating war efforts, poking the financial dragon that's about to explode, all these things. Whenever you see videos about it or news stories about it online, there's always someone somewhere that comments, oh well, we'll just go to Canada. When the shit hits the fan, I'm, I'm off to Canada. Later, suckers. Ha ha ha, I've got family in Canada. Some stuff like that. And that always bothers me because no one seems to have told them that that Canada's gone. See, when I was a kid, I was taught about Canada. I was told what our identity was, globally. And that identity is a champion of human rights. A sober-minded, independent-thinking, progressive, logical, and, and, and peaceful member of the world. Uh, almost like a champion of virtue. And indeed, in history, that has been correct. Canada has had a really good track record. And I'm really proud of that, of being part of that lineage. But, for a while now, Canada has been going downhill, and it's pretty much accelerated since 9-11. It seems to be the point where most countries lost their minds. A lot of times it seems as if they were all planning to lose their mind and just waiting for that opportunity. Canada was not spared. Unfortunately, somehow or another, through cheating or bad luck, Canada ended up with a conservative government. A conservative government run by a tool, an utter tool. I have found no one that likes this prime minister, even though he seems to be quite popular with the voters. Quite an interesting mismatch. I smell gerrymandering. I smell vote tampering. I smell cheating. But however it happened, it happened. And in the recent election, this man actually got a majority. So now Canada is completely in his hands. And this man currently running Canada, he's a puppet pretty much of the US. He is no leader. He's barely inspiring. And he is fractionally Canadian. So you need to know this down below. Canada is currently captured. I'm sorry to tell you this. It's captured. Yes, Canada right now is a lot better off than the US when it comes to freedoms and uh, just a general feeling of comfort versus your government. But with this man in power, if anything ever snaps in the US and say martial law is declared or some sweeping new spy system is installed, um, which currently is being built, the uh, giant, giant, mind-blowingly huge amount of data, uh, data center that they're building in the U.S. that will be used to store every piece of information that you interact with, be it on the phone, a walkie-talkie, radio, internet, text, pretty much everything electronic that you do will be stored under your name. And if you ever say a damn thing against the government, they'll be ready to pull your file and find something you did wrong and ruin you. Or at least we'll be able to know enough about your life to ruin your life, to know who to target, to know what to hit. It's a dangerous tool. And it's got nothing to do with terrorism, except the terrorism that comes from governments these days. Anyway, when this thing is in place, whatever the thing is going to end up being that finally makes people want to run off to Canada, Canada will not be a refuge as it is right now. This person we have leading Canada will be, yes sir, he will lock that into Canada too, immediately. That's the way it's been so far. He will not think for himself, as Canada should. He will not have the balls 
to say no, as Canada should. He will not think progressively, as Canada should and does. He will not stand for human rights, justice, freedom, or virtue. Oh, Canada, where are you? Well, it's in the hearts of people like me, people who were at least told the truth when we were kids. When I see Canada the country toppling, Canada the spirit stirs inside me. And for the honor of my ancestors who fought for all these good things, I need to get up and do it too. And besides, as a Canadian, I have nowhere to retreat to. I can't go to the North Pole. So I kind of have to fight. But you too, Americans. You're cornered too now. There is no retreat to Canada. And I doubt you want to go to Mexico. And it's a long swim anywhere else. So you have to realize that you're stuck there. And don't be disheartened by that. Be encouraged. Be motivated. Know that your only option is to fight. And I'm not talking about violent fighting. I'm talking about action. Be it as simple as talking, like I'm doing here, or advocating, or participating in all sorts of movements going on everywhere, donating to organizations, changing things in your own life for the better that help motivate others to also change, educating yourself, researching. There's so many things you can be doing that's better than nothing. And anything you're doing is better than nothing. And anything more you can do is better than what you're doing now, if you can possibly do it. Stand your ground. You have to defend your country. And so do we up here in Canada. But Americans, you need to realize that what is allowed to happen in the U.S. quickly becomes the norm across the world. Running away from it will not help you because it'll catch up to you wherever you go. You can't run. This is not a time in history for running. It's a time in history for heroes. It's a time in history for great acts of valor and legendary history. It might seem boring out there right now, but I really feel it coming, and I'm sure everyone feels it too. There's a sense inside you that's buzzing, saying something is coming, something big is going to go down, and I'm not sure if I'm ready for it, and I'm not sure what it is, but we're all going to have to do something soon. That's what you're feeling. You're feeling the storm. You're feeling electricity in the air and you want to run to shelter, but for this storm there is no shelter and we have to do everything we can to stop it from coming. There's still time, there's still time, but not a lot. So, you've got your work cut out for you. No more running. Canada is off the board for a while. Hopefully we can get it back on track, but it's very precarious right now. What's the identity of your country? Home of the free, land of the brave. I think it's time for all of you guys to start being free and being brave for the sake of your ancestors. So that's something to think about. Till next time.